Hey, what's going on guys? Billy Riley here. So today, I'm just going to be discussing what happens when you delete System32. So you may have uh, seen those memes about uh, deleting System32. Uh, what they're saying is that if you delete System32, your system will be faster. So I'll just um, demonstrate what happens to delete System32. So first, I'll give you the short answer. What happens is that uh, it really depends on what system you're running. Well, actually, for the most part, it's not going to do anything as long as you're running Windows Vista or newer. Uh, because those OS's have uh, protections to prevent you from doing stuff like that. Um, if you have something like I think Windows Server 2003 or Windows XP before, um, that will that that does no it has no protections whatsoever. So you'll be able to do that pretty easily. Um, OS's before XP they have a different file path, but there are there is a System 32. But actually, I don't think there's a System 32. So I'm just set call it System. Um, and system systems where all the files are, it'll do the same thing as well, just a different folder, that's it. So um, I'm not gonna be demonstrating what happens in those older um, OS's than, the OS's that are older than XP, but I'll show you what happens in XP first. So just gonna load up VMware here. First, I'm just gonna take a snapshot because uh, I might use this uh, VM in the future. Step four is fine. Just gonna lower the uh, processor count so that way it doesn't take up all the system resources and slow down the video or make it lag. All right, let's load it. Here we are. So now I'm just gonna load up uh, command prompt. So let me, okay. Let's make sure that uh, snapshot's there real quick. All right, yeah, because I don't wanna have to reinstall this and activate it. All right, so now I'm just gonna start command prompt. So what you have to do is you gotta type in the, uh, the del, which is short for delete, and then the system path the system32. So let's just do this. And it'll ask you if you're sure if you want to do this, so you're not going to want to really do this, but I'm just going to type yes just to show you. Alright, oh, that was quick. Alright, so now we're just going to uh, restart and see what happens. Ooh, doesn't even have the, uh, the home, the uh, home edition, uh, login screen anymore, it's just the classic screen. That's not a good sign. That means files were probably deleted. And it seems to be taking quite a little, oh no, it's restarting now. And you'll get an error like this, just saying uh, a bunch of files are missing, so it cannot start. All right, now I'm just gonna close out of this. here. All right, now I'm just going to demonstrate what happens in uh, Windows 10 when you do it. Settings look good. No, did I make a snapshot? I don't think I made a snapshot. I'll just restore from that one. It's probably the last one I made just in case if I messed it up before. All right. This the right password. Oh, there we go. That's right. Okay, so um, I think I'm just gonna load this as a, the command prompt as administrator. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing here and see what's ha see what happens.
right. Now it says it's deleted. Oh, yeah. I just want to make a point here where it says access denied. It, made that, it said that in XP as well. Um, it would just say access denied, although it actually deleted. Here, I think it's a bit different because, uh, well, you'll see what happens. Uh, are you serious? It's installing updates. Oh, okay, good. don't know what this getting windows ready is about. Or maybe that might be because the files were deleted or maybe it's fixing it, I have no idea. All right, so as you can see, loaded up just fine. I think that's probably because, uh, well, the file, the system by default doesn't let you. But there is a way around this. Um, I'll show you. Just gotta go to the uh, System32 folder and take privileges of it or permissions forgot how to do this so uh, let's see oops Fence. I think that's one thing you do. Okay. <clears throat> wow. okay. All right. I just gotta delete all this. Eh, which actually first see what happens if you do it in command prompt. Just like I was gonna show you. I feel like none of those files actually got deleted, but let's see what happens. loaded in just fine. Yeah, I was right. Um, let's see what happens if we delete it in the folder, because I remember that working if I remember correctly. I think this is going to take a while. I think I messed something up during the permissions, but let's see if this if this works because that took longer to delete. Oh, there we go. Okay, looks like that's what happens. Um, First, let's just see what happens after this is done. See if it tries to fix or anything. Um, if it if it doesn't fix itself, then you'll probably have to re, uh, reinstall the OS. Yeah, it looks like it's just stuck in this loop. Let's see if it, if it, if it uh, goes into the recovery options a second time. OK, 
Okay. Usually I don't see the automatic repair working, but well, I have no idea if they made it better or what, or anything like that since the last time I tested it out. couldn't repair your PC. Well, looks like it didn't. the automatic repair didn't improve or anything over the years. Let's see what advanced option has. I wonder if uh, system restore, if you can do system restore. Eh, I guess if you have a system restore, maybe it'll probably fix it. I've never really tested that out. But yeah. So now you know what happens when the system 32 gets deleted. Don't actually try it. Don't test it out. Although um, I showed you that by default, um, nothing's gonna really happen unless you change the permissions. Um, I just, I honestly would, would tell you not to try it out because there could be that slight chance that uh, it actually happens to work for you. And I just don't wanna, you know, take take the risk by telling you that nothing really happens and something that might actually happen on your PC. Anyways, thanks for watching and please subscribe.